Good morning guys and welcome into my beauty stash. Today we're going to do a good old fashioned get ready with me trying new makeup. I've been doing a bit of shopping and I'm going to be doing another one of these videos very soon. Probably within the next few days after you watch this one just because so much stuff has come out. You guys know I love trying all the makeup out for you so you guys don't have to. And I have pretty much everything new to do a full face with. So I'm really excited about this video. I'm ready to take this face up a few notches, get a little bit glammed up for the day. If you guys wanna see how some of these products are going to work, how they're going to wear, keep on watching. So obviously we're gonna start first with primer and this one right here specifically from Laura Geller. This is her spackle primer. Guys, it's been years that I haven't had a spackle in my stash. I remember when it first came out, I bought it. It was sold at QVC and you guys know how much I love shopping on QVC, but this is her spackle skin perfecting primer. She has different versions of this now. So this is the hydrate. It moisturizes and replenishes. This was part of a little PR package that the team at Laura Laura Geller was kind enough to send me so I definitely wanted to use it in today's video let me just give it a quick shake I already have my sunscreen on it is from La Roche Posay all right so I think that looks like it's gonna be more than enough especially because it's a hydrating primer and I already have my morning skincare routine going on I'm just really glad. I'm just really glad to have some of my old favorites from Laura Geller. They also sent me the Balance and Brighten foundation, which I used to use that back in the day. So they sent me two different shades. They sent me Spackle, and I wanna say, oh, they sent me a Kabuki brush. I feel like there was something else, but it's a really cute package. I'm gonna do some pictures with it and post it over on my Instagram. This feels absolutely amazing. There is a little bit of stickiness to it, which is obviously going to help grip the makeup and I love it. So happy to have Spackle back in my stash. So now that we've primed the skin, I wanna go ahead and get my lips extra hydrated. And I picked this new one up from Glow Recipe. This is their Plum Plum Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. This says that it's going to be ultra moisturizing with a non-sticky formula that hydrates lips and delivers shine of a gloss with the comfort of a balm. I love that. And it is infused with hyaluronic acid. This is what the little jar looks like. Like I'm all about packaging when it comes to Glow Recipe. I think they have the cutest packaging and my little headband up here is also from Glow Recipe. I bought this straight from the Sephora site. Now is there a little scoop included? Oh man, there's not a little scooper. Hmm. Well, I guess my hands are clean. So let me just dig, dig in. Get a little bit out. I would imagine that going forward, I would use this as a lip mask rather than a lip balm just because it is a thicker consistency and I just applied the the one that they have in the stick formula I think it's like the watermelon pop lip balm or something like that I always use that one in the morning because it kind of also exfoliates a little bit this one feels so much different than that one that does though this actually feels really good. Oh gosh, I did two lip swatch videos today. I mean, not today, but this week. So my lips took a beating, but uh, I've been using my Lawless lip mask every night. And now I can use this every morning. So, so far I am loving this. There's very few products from Glow Recipe that I'm not like 100% in love with but I can tell this is not going to be one of them. Now for foundation, some of you have been asking me for this. I did get my new shade. Well, hopefully this is gonna be my correct shade in the Dior Reformulated Backstage Foundation. The shade I chose to go with is shade uh, 0W. The shade I had prior was 1N, which is what I use in the concealer, and that one just looked totally orange on me. So I'm hoping that this new shade um, is going to look better. It's going to actually be my shade. Okay, so I think it looks a little light, but I would rather it be a little bit light than a little too dark. And I'm gonna go in with my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush 
and I'm just going to start stippling that into the complexion. I can always bronze this up with my bronzer or I can add some darkening drops. I would just rather it be a little, a little too light than a little too dark. Yeah, I th actually think, <laughs> actually think this might be my true shade. <laughs> I love the glow I'm getting. Wow, looks really good. Yeah, guys, this is, this is a perfect shade match for me. Whether it oxidizes, we'll see, but I even think if it oxidizes, it'll be just fine. Now I'm gonna pick up what's left on the back of my hand and just use it to build up coverage right here on the sides of my cheeks. That's what I always like to do. So next up, I got this reformulated Armani uh, concealer, and this is the Power Fabric Multi Retouch Concealer. There are 18 shades available. It retails for $40. The shade I got is shade 2, which is described as a fair olive undertone. Go figure. Um, it says it's this, this is going to be long-wearing, high coverage with a natural matte finish. So let's see. I've only ever tried one thing from Armani Beauty and that was their luminous silk foundation oh yeah this looks like it's going to be a good shade i probably put too much but i'm just using what came out on the applicator i'll just add some here to the places i typically add concealer to i've been so curious i've been so curious about this um never tried much from the brand aside from the foundation but i've always heard good things about this concealer so let's see i think the shade is perfect on me it's blending nicely it's more my skin tone than it is like a brightening concealer yeah, i definitely see the full coverage in this one so that is looking really nice that is some good coverage Okay, I like that. I'm loving the way the complexion looks. Um, do I have any other cream products? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to leave the powder for a little bit later in this video. The next thing I'm going to go in with, I didn't pick up like a new bronzer, so I'm going to use this one from Milk Makeup. It is their Sculpt Stick, and it's in this shade Stoke. I'm using my Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush just to blend that out. What are some of the new items that you have been shopping for? Like at Sephora and Ulta. I know a lot of you have been doing a lot of indie makeup shopping, which I don't blame you. The indie brands have been dropping stuff left and right. But what about at Sephora and Ulta? What have you guys bought lately? What are you loving? What are you hating? Leave it in the comments so we all can know. I love this bronzer though. It is smaller and I, I've mentioned this when I first tried it out. It's a lot smaller than I anticipated, but it still packs a punch. Do a little bit here on my nose as well. I love that. I love the shade of bronzer contour. Next, we're going to go in with some Fenty. I picked up their new, what is this called? The Matchstick in the shade Strawberry Pop. But look at this beautiful packaging. I am a sucker for packaging. Look at how cute that is. Okay, let's go in with this. Oof. Okay. Hopefully I didn't go overboard. We'll see right now. I just thought that this collection looks so fun. I believe it is a limited edition collection. Uh, I got mine from Ulta. That's a beautiful shade of pink. And a little bit more up here. I even got one of their new lipsticks, and I got the lipstick case, which looks like this. I'm so excited for it. I like the Fenty lipsticks. They are a soft matte formula, and those really have some good staying power. Now, I don't know if this is going to be one of those, like, pH adjusting blushes. 
I know somebody, I know Tarte came out with it a while back, but I don't remember if this is one of them as well. It could be, but I'm loving the shade it is. Oh, that is perfect. Perfect for summertime. Okay, so I think I have all of my cream products applied. Now, I picked up a new setting spray, and it does have SPF in it, and it is this one right here from Pacifica and their Little Mermaid collaboration. This is the Set and Protect Matte Sheer Setting Mist with SPF 45, Vitamin C, and C Algae Extracts. I think this is going with me on vacation. Let's try it out. Okay. Oh, there's a scent to it, like a sunscreen scent. Actually, it's a little more pleasant than a sunscreen scent. I do have a video where I tested several different setting sprays that contain SPF in them. Um, I'll have that video linked up above in case you want to check it out because um, I don't know. I've tried another Pacifica setting spray that contains SPF, but that was just a little too glowy for me. I like that this says it's going to provide a matte finish. So I will see. I am 41 years old with normal to oily skin. So a nice matte finish sign me up for it because I will get glowy all by myself. Now, I had didn't pick up a new highlighter, so I want to go in with an old fave, and this one is from Kaleidos, and this is their Space, Space Age Gifted Highlighter. This is like a beautiful multi-chrome highlighter, and let me get a little brush over here. I'm going to use my one from Shop Miss A. This is the F19. These highlighters are really blinding. Look at that. Wow. I feel like I'm going to need to add a little bit of the blush back. I totally recommend checking out these highlighters if you haven't already because they are beautiful. And I remember I got the entire set. I have the box on display the shelf on the shelves behind me. But it came in a really pretty tin box and you got all of the highlighters except for this one because this one came after that um that collection release but this is beautiful i hope i hope they get they're dropping some new stuff soon what are they dropping i forget what they're dropping i don't know if it's contour or bronzer but they i know they have some new stuff coming out i saw it over on instagram oh i love it okay i always add a little bit more blush after i go in with uh my highlighter just to kind of help blend the two together. Oof, look at this complexion. Ah, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Okay, now we need to set the complexion. And I picked up this new setting powder from Oma Beauty. Guys, this powder is hefty, but it's hefty because it contains water. This is the Hydro Blast Finishing Powder. This contains, I think, 50 per to 52% water or something like that. It says, forget everything you know about powder. A skincare powder infused with 5% niacinamide and a pow empowered by water to leave the skin smooth and hydrated and shine free. It says it's a weightless formula that melts into the skin, giving you a cooling sensation followed by a skin blurring and soft focus effect that minimizes the appearance of fine lines and it's all like kind of holographic so it's hard for me to read it and imperfections bye bye filters and hello hydration i think this is 52 percent water and you can kind of see that at the bottom it just sounded so interesting. I picked this up on the Ulta Beauty website, and the shade I picked up, which was the lightest shade, is called White Pearl. Now, it does come fully sealed, and then there's a sticker on top as well. So I'm going to pour some out. Oops, I know I poured out too much, but that's what it looks like. I'm going to get my little triangular powder puff. Excited for this one. Wow. It feels wet. It's like that Becca powder. Remember that Becca powder back in the day? I used to have it. Obviously, I've decluttered it because of age. But that's what this feels like. Except this feels a little bit more moist than that one did. Oh, this is going to be great for summer. 
Wow. Okay. Let me set my T zone. I'm going to be spending some time outdoors today, like in a few in a few minutes when I get done filming. We are actually going to be heading south of the border. We're going to go into Mexico to have some lunch, do a little bit of shopping, get a couple things for our upcoming trip. And um, then I'm going to come back, film another video, edit, finish packing, and then try and do some relaxing. Oh, this feels so different. It feels so cooling. Oh, 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 what happened there? It took off the foundation. Oh, we don't want that. Let me see if I can, gosh. Maybe I pressed too hard. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Oh man, that looks terrible. I didn't do that under the eye area. Okay, I hope I don't mess this up, but I mean, I gotta try something. Add a little bit of concealer. That doesn't look good at all. I think I'm gonna have to get a makeup wipe and remove this part all together. I'm just gonna use my BK8506. See if we can salvage this. Okay, so that definitely helped, but it looks, yeah, all through here. Maybe it's because it's a water-based, I don't know. Okay, that looks better. It looks, yeah, it looks a lot better. Um, do I dare apply more? <sighs> I'm a little nervous. Let's see. Let me just lightly press it. Maybe I was just pressing too hard. Sometimes I can be too aggressive with my, with my makeup application. Yeah, I think just a light little pat. Okay. And that just could also be maybe the setting spray because it has SPF. And I went in with that first before I went in with this setting powder. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because it's not doing that. I didn't do that anywhere else. It's actually looking really nice. So, okay, maybe it was just user error. I will definitely not discount this powder. I'm going to still keep trying it. Uh, now that the complexion is done, I have a couple new brow products, but they're repurchases from NYX. So I'm going to take care of my brows off camera. And when I come back, we're going to start working with the Be Perfect Gravity Palette. Here is what it looks like. So excited. All right, so brows are on. Now it's time to play with this Gravity Palette, another neutral palette. What did I tell you guys about neutrals? They are they're making a comeback in 2023. Um, I think I want to do, I want to do something like with these silver and grays. I'm wearing silver jewelry today with this white tee. So I think I'm going to start... I'm going to start here and I'll probably use this shade as a brow bone highlight, but I'm going to start here and then I'll probably be working into this shade and then come across and work into maybe these two shades or those two shades. But the first one I'm going to start off with is called Tidal Wave and I'm taking Tidal Wave on a BKA503. I've always been a fan of Be Perfect Cosmetics shadows. So whenever they release new stuff, like foundation, concealer, those colorful eyeshadow palettes. I usually go for them. I usually try them. This is like the first full-on neutral palette that I buy from Be Perfect. Now in a refer 14, I'm going to go in with this shade called Grayscale. Now on that same refer 14, I'm going to dip into this shade called Gravity. This will probably be the last mat that I use up here. These are blending so well. 
very smooth, easy to work with. Going back in with the second shade I used, which is called Grayscale. Okay, so these are some really, really nice matte shades. They are so easy to blend out. Let's try some of these shimmers. Um, I think I'm going to be working with these two for the lid. I'm going to start first with a darker one. This one's called Force Field. I'm going to go in with some NYX Glitter Primer first since I am going to be wearing this look for quite a few hours. I need my little Morphe M213. Now with that same brush, I'm picking up Force Field. This is more of a textured shimmer shadow. Really pretty. Look at that. Wow. I don't remember offhand how much this palette was. Could have been around 40 bucks. And I ordered it straight from the Be Perfect Cosmetics website. They are sold on Beauty Bay, but like their new releases usually launch on their website first and then they go to Beauty Bay. That is really pretty. And Be Perfect is a UK based indie makeup brand. I like that. Okay, I'm going to flip the brush around. Now I'm going into that lighter shade called Magnetic. This is more smooth. Wow. Looks like I have foil on my lids. Holy cow. Woo! Always love the Be Perfect formula. To me, they just, they get it right nine times out of ten. Oh, stunning. Stunning. Man, they're going to see me from outer space. All right, now I'm going to go in with this shade right here just to kind of add a little bit of a, a highlight, like I need it, to the brow bone. This shade is called Weightless. I'm using a BK Beauty 209. I used to always wear like gray gunmetal shades when I was in my teens and 20s, early 20s. Like those were just my go-to, my go-to shades. So like a palette like this, oh, I would have been head over heels for back then. Now, not so much, but this is really taking me back. <laughs> now I'm more into like colorful makeup and stuff, but... I don't mind. I don't mind having a palette like this in my stash. There is always a time and place for neutral shadows, and sometimes neutral shadows can just be as fabulous and fun as colorful makeup. For the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Dark Matter. This looks like it's a sequin shade, so a matte at its core with a little bit of sparkle on top. I'm taking that on a BK210. Just keeping that really close to the lash line. Now on that same brush, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This one is called Cosmic Dust. Mm -hmm. Look at this, this is stunning. Okay, I am going to be using the LYS Mascara. This is their Lash Confidence Mascara. Let's take a look at this really quick. I love the packaging. Again, their whole packaging is always triangular and I love that. So we are getting a curled applicator. Uh, I'm going to do some liner and then I'm going to add the mascara, one coat of mascara. I'll let you see what the look looks like with just the one coat of mascara. But I think I want to apply falsies because I bought these from Ulta the other day and these are the House of Lashes Boudoir Light. So I'm gonna let you see what the look like what the look looks like first without actually, you know what? No, scratch that. I'll save the falsies for another day. I'm just gonna do the liner and the mascara, throw something in the waterline. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the completed look and we'll apply the Fenty, the new Fenty lipstick. Okay, so here is the completed eye look. I did two coats, two coats of the mascara. And so I'll try it out for you guys. I'll keep you guys posted how it wears, if it flakes, if it smears. But I am loving the way this look turned out. For the lower waterline, I went in with this oldie from NYX. It was, I think, um, part of one of their Pride collections a few years back. But it's in the shade Love. But I think the baby blue just ties in perfectly with the rest of the shades. And then for the top lash line, I love 
lined with this too cute mermaid eyeliner from sugar drizzle so now we're gonna go in with the fenty lipstick and this is just the case and this is limited edition for summer 2023 but i wanted to show you how to load this component i have a youtube short over it when they first came out it's actually gotten a a lot of views but all you have to do is just flip it over so that this little part comes out this is where you're going to place the new lipstick so here is the new lipstick she released two new shades of the fenty icon lipstick the shade i have is miss candy venom and I love that it's a refillable component. These lipsticks are really good. Uh, I do have a video where I lip swatched all of the initial shades that they had released in the Fenty Icon lipstick. This is what the refill component looks like. You want to save the little cap, just keep it like in a drawer or something. And then that is what the shade looks like. So it's probably gonna be a little too bold for this look, but eh, it's okay. And it always says the name right here on the side. Again, this one is Miss Candy Venom. So I'm gonna push that down, okay? I'm going to get this little part and I'm going to snap it in. Here it snapped. Then I'm gonna get the, the bullet component here. I'm just gonna flip it like this and push it down till it clicks. Now, how do you get it out? All you're gonna do is twist, this pops up, and then that pulls out. Very simple. So let's apply. Oh, this is a beautiful shade. Beautiful shade, a little too bold for the look, but I don't care. Mm -hmm, look at that, wow ties in perfectly with the blush and with that this look is complete full face majority full face of trying new makeup let me go ahead and recap everything so i'm just going to start with what's on top of my little basket here so the mascara so far so good again this is something i'm gonna have to wear test today and get back to you at a later time you know how it wears if it flakes so on and so forth but i love the packaging of this lys um, mascara i love that they stay true to their triangular packaging the fenty lipstick is beautiful i love this limited edition case if you love fenty lippies the way i do then i would definitely at least pick up the case and then you can always refill it with your other favorite fenty lipstick that you have i think be perfect gave us a beautiful cool tone gray smoky eyeshadow palette in gravity i think this is absolutely beautiful always been a fan of the be perfect formula i would highly recommend checking this out if these are the shades that you gravitate towards i am so happy to welcome back into my stash laura geller spackle again they did send me this in pr and this is the hydrate moisture and replenish spackle beautiful makeup primer i am so glad that i got my correct shade in the dior backstage foundation this is this is shade uh, OW and I think it is a perfect shade match even though it I thought it was going to be a little too light I think it looks perfect now that all of the face makeup has been applied I'm gonna have to keep trying this new one from Oma Beauty um, you saw that little goof it could have just been user error it could have just been the way the products didn't mix well together but this definitely has some weight to it and that's because it contains more than 50% water so uh, let me know if you've tried this what has your experience been but I'm very anxious to use it going forward and I will definitely keep you guys posted the little mermaid collaboration from Pacifica the set and protect SPF 45 setting mist it's going to provide a matte finish I think my full face of makeup looks pretty good I love the way the complexion looks we'll see how this wears again I'm gonna be in and outdoors all day long I'm gonna have this face of makeup on for a long it's gonna be a long day and then the Fenty matte stick again limited edition packaging i think this is also a limited edition shade the shade is called strawberry pop and that is what i have going on on the cheeks i love this one this one i might have to take it with me to turks and caicos um the reformulated 
Power Fabric Concealer from Armani Beauty. So far, so good. I never tried the original version. I see a lot of the luxury brands are reformulating all of their products, just like the Dior Foundation is a new reformulation. Um, but you know what? If they're making them with uh, more recyclable packaging, if they are making them with better ingredients and they can keep the formula the same or improve it, you know what, at the end of the day, I'm all for it. And again, the shade I have in this one is shade two. And I think that's about it. The other couple things were products that I've already had and are well loved in my stash. Let me know what some of the new makeup you have been shopping for uh, has been. What, have, what are some of your losers and your winners? What are you most excited about uh, makeup wise for summer 2023? Sound off in the comment down below. And let me know what makeup product did I use in in today's video what caught your eye what do you think is going to be making its way to your home i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water and i'm going to see you all very soon bye